Tonight, we're hearing more of the heartbreaking 911 calls from a South Georgia camper fire that claimed the lives of two young children. Yes, yeah, there's someone in the house. There is someone in the house. Oh, my God. We got a baby involved in burn. We got a baby involved. We got three people very injured that burn all to pieces. According to Glynn County Police, today a second child, a three-year-old boy, died from injuries in the fire that had already killed his four-month-old sister yesterday afternoon. Tonight we're hearing one of the calls to 911 that reveals someone tried to jump in and save the children. Francesca Amaker is joining us live with that. Fran. And Tom and Mary just listening to these two 911 calls was heartbreaking just to hear these people screaming and to hear the babies crying in the background. You could tell that the adults that jumped in nearby were willing to risk their own lives for these children. Come on, we gotta get them out of here. Hurry, please hurry. We got babies with third degree burns, 90% of their bodies. That is just part of one of the two 911 calls that were made by neighbors when they saw this RV on fire Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we got one, uh, we got one adult, not hardly burned. We got one adult severely burned. One baby is still alive. I got in my arms. We got one this baby is uh, here to succeed. I understand. Okay, can you can you add, make sure there's no one else in the house? Is there anybody else in the house? Is there anybody? Oh, we got explosions. Within seconds, another call from another neighbor, revealing that not everyone made it out. Is another kid inside the house? Yeah, he's gone though, he said. Huh? He said he's gone though. It's the oldest kid. The Glenn County Police Department says the fire was started by a pot of noodles left on a hot plate. Though the determination does not yet explain why neighbors say they heard explosions, officials say the older model of the camper may have been a factor. And at this point, again, police or, or officials are still looking into what caused this fire. Uh, but when we did ask police if this was the first time a fire had happened at that camper, they told us, yes, this was the first time. However, the family had just moved in May after their first home caught on fire. For now, reporting live from Chesky Amaker, Channel 4, the local station. Man, that's just unbelievable. Yesterday, we saw hazardous materials teams out at the scene of this awesome. fire. Were you able to ask why they were there? We did ask officials why they were there uh, because neighbors were asking as well. And according to those officials, that they have special teams coming in to collect samples because, as we mentioned in the story, uh, those explosions did go off. So right now, they did collect those possible any um, materials or any chemicals that may be inside of the camper to see what caused those explosions. But as of now, Mary, they tell us that the pot of noodles is what caused the fire. Francesca Amaker reporting to us live. Thank you, Fran.